Good morning guys, what's up? So I'm getting ready to start the next project and that is going to be putting in lattice or basically enclosing the bottom of my house. So if you look here, you see, you know, underneath the house, the house is built on stilts. So see where my a-hole dogs chewed on the wood? I gotta fix that too. But anyway, um, one of the projects I've been wanting to do for quite a while uh, is get the lattice started on the house. So all of this basically, and it's starting to rain right now, um, but I'll be under the house, so I'll be good. So basically I have to build some framework here and then there's gonna be lattice going from the edge of the house down to the ground, all the way around. And this project's probably gonna take me, um, it's probably gonna be a few weekends of work. So uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this video, if I'm gonna um, just film a little bit of it and then wait till I get more done and then just do updates or if I'm going to, uh, I don't think I'm gonna film the whole thing cause it's gonna be pretty boring. I'm gonna show you basically what I'm doing, how I'm setting it up um, and going from there, let me get out of the rain. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I'll show you the framework that I'm doing, how I'm attaching it to the house and then uh, putting in the first couple of pieces of lattice, I guess. And then I'll add some videos to this, I guess, as I update and get around the house. And then maybe I'll just release the video when everything's done. Um, but we're doing this for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, it is something that our insurance is requiring us to do. And, sorry, I got water on, the, on my phone. Um, so one of the things that our insurance asked us to do for the house is to uh, enclose the bottom so that animals can't get under there and leaves and stuff can't blow under there and you know it could be a fire hazard because it's so dry around here. Uh, <laughs> anyway, but then the main reason or one of the main reasons is because our dogs go under the house all the time and they pull all this stuff out which I don't know, you know, there's junk under there. I don't know who threw it under there. Um, people that were working here, people that were living here. I don't know. Anyway, there's a lot of little just miscellaneous things under there. Like, um, I don't know, pieces of plumbing piping. There's chunks of wood. There's, uh, there's like a trash can lid under there. There was a couple empty, uh, rock star cans. I mean, just some garbage, you know. I, I don't understand why people would throw that shit underneath the house, but anyway. So, the main reason is because our dogs go under there all the time. So, I want to get that cleared out, or get that closed off so they can't go under there anymore. And then that's going to tie into the bigger plan, which is we're going to be putting fencing, you know, all the way around the front yard to begin with. And then eventually we have a whole area um, that's going to be fenced in. Uh, once we clear some space in the back so that we have like a large area where the dogs, we can just let the dogs out and not have to worry about them running, you know, out into the street. So that's going to be what this video is. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I'm trying to build up my channel. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll get started. All right, so this is the lattice that I'm using. This is four by eight sheets of vinyl lattice. Um, this is, they come in a couple different sizes. So this one, I think they actually call privacy fence, uh, privacy lattice. Um, it has basically one inch holes in here. The other one has, I want to say they're two and a half inch holes. So it's pretty large. Um, we, my wife and I have both liked the look of this one better and we think it'll look nicer once it's under the house. So. That's the sheets that I'm getting. These run from Home Depot. They're about 35 bucks a sheet, I think it was. Um, so that's gonna be the lattice that's gonna go on. And then over here, I have my helper. <laughs> um, so these are two by three uh, pieces of wood or I, I want to say two by fours, but they're not two by fours, they're two by threes, uh, eight foot long. So what I have been doing over the last uh, week or two, um, I've been coating them with a sealant. So they are pressure treated wood. Um, so they'll be resistant to, you know, mildew and termites and all that anyway. But then as an extra protection, we're putting on this 
sealant, which is also white, so it'll help it. You won't really see this, but um, it'll just make it look a little nicer for the parts that you do see. So this is basically gonna be the framework that's gonna be attached to the house, and then the lattice is gonna attach to this. All right, guys. <laughs> so I'm underneath the house right now. Um, there's probably, I don't know, I'm able to sit kind of not straight up, but almost straight up, and you see, you know, how much space I have here. So this is uh, basically a house on stilts. And this is how a lot of houses in Hawaii are built. Um, you can see all the rocks. It's basically, they just make a pad. They put in these big piers. And then, you know, they have the four by fours, four by sixes, whatever they use to go up. And then the larger beams going down. And then that's where you get your, your floor and everything for your house to go on. So um, what I'm going to be doing here, let me flip the camera around. Okay, so I'm in the, I guess what would be the front right corner of our house. And you can see that's the lattice that I was just outside. So what's going to happen in here is up here on this beam of the house, this is the outside beam of the house and all the way around. So you can see the beam there and in between here. So what's going to happen is I'm going to um, cut the two by threes and they're going to be mounted onto this uh, beam here or this piece of wood. So they're going to go vertically. It'll be vertically. And then there's going to be a cross piece in between. So there's going to be a drop basically every two feet on center. So they're four by eight sheets. So when I cut them, uh, I'm probably going to end up cutting them in half roughly, and then I'll have four by four pieces basically that are going to go on. So I want to put the vertical two by threes every two feet so that I have a center support and then one on each end basically. And then that's how I will go along. So once I start getting the vertical pieces mounted, then I'll start putting the lattice on the outside. And I'm going to start in the front corner, like I said. Um, I will probably end up putting some kind of a corner trim piece, you know, where the two pieces of lattice come together over here. And then it's going to keep cutting across the front, behind the stairs, you know, all the way down. And eventually it will go all the way around the house. All right, so this corner is basically going to be my starting point. So the first piece is going to get mounted right there in that corner. And that's actually going to be for that side that the lattice is on right there. And then it's going to come this way and then it'll be every two feet from there. All right, so what I did is basically starting from the very corner, because that's where the lattice is gonna go. I came out here and I put a mark at four feet. So the four foot mark is actually gonna be the important mark. Um, so I'll end up putting four foot marks all the way down. And then that's gonna be basically where the you know edge of the lattice is gonna go because I'm going to be doing the four foot wide using it that way and then cutting it down until it reaches basically from this edge down to the ground. All right, so I'm set up on my chop saw here and the vertical pieces are going to be 36 inches and that's going to leave a little bit of gap, maybe an inch or two gap uh, against the ground because you don't want it to, I don't want it to actually touch the ground. Um, so I'm going to basically cut 36 inch piece off of here and then 36 piece, inch piece from that end, which is that mark. And I want to have the parts that are actually close to the ground because we painted the ends and everything. So that'll be the part that's close to the ground just to help it not to get any moisture in there. And then the piece that's left over in the middle is going to end up being the cross piece that goes between the two uprights. So I was just doing my 36 from each end, then I got the center piece left over. Okay, 
So I have a stack of the 36 inch pieces um, and then I have my center pieces. And the way that these are gonna get mounted is I have a pocket hole jig. So I'm gonna screw pocket holes in here um, and then that'll go into the side. So what it'll look like basically is, you know, something like this coming down from the house and then the cross piece. All right, so this is gonna be my very first board going in. I'm making sure that I have the end that I cut that's going up into the cavity. Um, this one's going to end up being right in the corner and then it's gonna go down and it's gonna, I'm gonna screw it in basically just an inch or so off the ground so that it's not actually touching the ground. All right, so I got the first one in with the first screw started our first screw is in, second screw is started. Um, and then I'm basically going to uh, make sure that this is level and then I'm going to screw it the rest of the way in. Sorry for the weird angles. It's trying, it's <laughs> difficult to try and do this when I need both hands. I can't really film at the same time. So, all right. So now I'm continuing down. You can see my mark. Uh, that's the two foot mark. And then that's the four foot mark. So I'm gonna get these installed. All right, so I'm pre-starting the screws and then that way I can just slip it up into place and then yeah, it's not in focus and uh, screw it in. All right, so on these cross pieces, what I'm doing is I'm using a pocket jig and which if you're unfamiliar with it, the pocket jig has some little stops there. You basically clamp it to the board and then it's a guide, which is what these two steel tubes are. And then you have a drill bit it has a small uh, drill hole and then a countersink hole. And then you have a lock here. So this collar is what will go into this point here. And then what it does is it cuts a hole in there so that you can put a screw in there and screw it in without really having to guide it. It just kind of goes in on its own in the right spot. So what happens then after you drill it, you just take the clamp off. And then you have these holes here, which I'm sure if you're familiar with woodworking at all, you've seen holes like this. It's used a lot in cabinetry and cabinet making and, you know, tables, anything. It's basically a way for you to put your screws in where they're not on an outside surface. And it's a nice solid connection. So you probably can't see all the way down in there, but then there's a pilot hole and that's where the screw goes in. So it basically centers it and guides it in. And then when you screw this into another piece, it's going to look like that. And that's how it's going to come through. All right, so you can see I got the first, basically the first four feet of the framing started. So my verticals, like I was saying, are every two feet. And then the cross braces down in between. And then those are, uh, if I can get a good enough angle. So those have the pocket holes in them so that the screws basically just go right in and then everything looks nicer you know it's all squared up um, level so it being level is not super important um, it's not structural at all like the lattice is just going to be hanging on this but just for aesthetics i guess i try and get it as level you know as i can all right so i'm going to just continue on all right, <laughs> so I wanted to do an update. This is where I am right now. Um, starting from the corner and I have enough for one sheet and then I got the next two feet on that side. All the cross braces are in. And then over here on this side, same thing. I have enough for one sheet to go in. So these verticals are basically every two feet. And I wanted to get this corner done of the house. And then from here, I'm going to continue down the rest of the house and then go around the backside. And then I may or may not, you know, come back to the side or just go all the way around. What's up, Hati? <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is my progress so far. I got the, finally started getting the lattice on. So that's basically what it's going to look like. You can, you know, see where the, the vertical beam is behind there. 
since everything's evenly spaced, it just makes it look nicer. And the way that I cut my lattice is that's the four foot piece of the lattice. So by cutting it this direction, which is, I guess, perpendicular to the long edge, um, I'm able to get three pieces out of one sheet. Whereas if I took an eight foot sheet and I ripped it, I would have this, you know, 15 or 20 inch section that's just left over a long strip that I can't use for anything. So that's why I did the, vert, the uh, cuts this way. And then you can see the edge. It has a little edge on there, but it lines up over the beam. So you can't really distinguish it unless you look at this one. And then you look at that one, you can see the line. And then later on, we may add like a trim piece over that too, just to make them look nicer. And then I got the first piece around this side. And then you can see I had to, you know, trim out around the beams. And then over here for this particular one, I had to do a special cut because it was right on the beam is where it came. So I basically cut half of it down, sliced it, mounted it there. And then I have another support coming off of the beam there. So it'll just give it a little bit more rigidity. Plus it's against the concrete pier there. So it's like pretty solid and nothing's touching the ground. So, which is what I wanted. There's a sp couple spots, like here's a low spot here. Um, so I'll probably just put some gravel in there to bring it up so the dogs don't dig into it. Eventually um, this will, we're gonna put a sidewalk in here that will match up to this sidewalk here. So, I mean, that's down the road, but yeah. So that's my progress so far. I'm gonna continue on um, right now, putting vertical beams, continuing the vertical beams here behind the stairs. And I don't know how much more I'm gonna do today. Maybe enough to get, you know, past the stairs over there, but we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so this is what it's looking like from underneath. That's the corner over there, the lattice pieces that I had on. And then continuing down past the stairs, I'm doing the last uh, few vertical or uh, horizontal pieces that I'm going to be doing today. Um, so I'm going to finish the lattice on all of this section. And then I'm going to put in the one more piece over there so that this whole corner basically will be done. I just wanted to give a quick view of what it's looking like from underneath. So you see the uprights all mounted all the way down. So getting there. All right, guys. So this is where I'm going to wrap it up for today. Um, but I got from the corner all the way lattice under the house and then one more section. Uh, I basically started with 10 painted two by threes, eight foot two by threes. And I just wanted to see how far that would do. So I would get an idea of how much I needed, you know, for the rest of the house. Um, but that's it. Lattice is all in. So it turned out pretty good. Looks nice. Um, probably later on add, you know, probably fill this in with black cinder or something like that along the side there just to fill the gap to further deter the dogs from digging in there. Like they did their a-holes. So it was most important because I wanted to get this section done because when I let the dogs out, first thing they do is fly through the door, fly down the stairs and go straight under the house. So it's gonna be funny when I let them out the next time, they're gonna be confused. <laughs> so all that. And then the uh, eight foot section here. So and then of course I'm gonna continue around. Okay guys, so that's gonna wrap that up for this video. Um, I think this will probably be the only video I do on this just cause it's kind of mundane. Um, you get the basic idea of what I was doing and I'll probably do a follow up video once I finish around the whole house. Um, you know, maybe like a completed projects video or something cause I know I still Still working on the pump house has to still be painted, which I haven't finished that yet. So um, I have a lot of projects that are almost finished, <laughs> but I will get everything wrapped up and uh, 
as far as the lattice video, uh, I think this is going to be it. So if anybody wants to see an additional video, just comment. And I mean, I could post one. Uh, it's not like I'm posting a ton of videos right now anyway. So um, that's going to be it for it for that. And uh, just want to say thanks for tuning in and uh, watching. And uh, if you could subscribe and like, I would appreciate that. And if you really want to help support the channel, you saw my shirt. So I have a line of shirts, which I can't show you the back. Actually, the back has the same logo as this. Basically says Hawaiian Viking, Big Island Hawaii. Has the Celtic sign and then the Hawaiian triangles on the other side. Anyway, um, I have a bunch of designs for shirts. I think I have maybe six different designs. Uh, it's on a Teespring website. If you go to my Instagram, there's a direct link there. Or if you go to my website, there's a link there that takes it to the Teespring store too. Um, <clears throat> so if you want to buy a shirt, that'll help me out because everything costs money, <laughs> including making videos. So um, just want to say thanks again, guys. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you on the next video. Aloha.